guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my August favorites, two weeks late, my bad. Let's go ahead and get into it. Firstly, let's talk about the lip that I can't get enough of. I think this formula is phenomenal. I love the shades and I love the packaging. The only thing I don't love is the price tag. It's definitely up there at some drugstores. Uh, but this is the Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink. It's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing right now. I've been wearing this. This has been my new favorite red. I still love NARS Power Matte Liquid Lipstick. I love the matte look, but I do love a shiny red lip. There's something really, really sexy and beautiful about it, but I don't like a messy lip above all. And this is not that. The only thing I will say is in application of this, thin layers and like, you know, if you're heading out to dinner or something, put this on 20 minutes before you go out. So you give it some time to set into your lips. It doesn't stay as shiny as this throughout like the entire night, but it lasts really well. I went to a wedding this weekend. I'll have a wedding get ready with me, another one, a wedding guest get ready with me coming up. But I put this on in about two. I think I touched it up after dinner, but I didn't even have to. I just kind of wanted to add the shine back, but it's beautiful. So I love these. I love the shade Peachy too, but the red has really sold me. Uh, and this is in the shade Red Hot. If the Maybelline being $20 sometimes at the drugstore wasn't enough for you, let me introduce to you my new favorite foundation that's $110. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to do this to you. It's so good, okay? I can't stop wearing it. It's phenomenal. I like wearing it lighter coverage during the day. I wear more full coverage. I wear it all day at a wedding. I wear it filming videos. I wear it filming Pretty Blunt, my podcast. I wear it all the time. It's just so beautiful everything for everything. It's the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. As I mentioned, this is $110. I will link my foundation review um, in the description. Maybe wait for the Sephora sale, but y'all, this is good. Uh, I have it in the shade 7.7 .7 Honey. It is an incredible shade match for me. It just looks so beautiful on the skin, wears so well. It's, I, I would consider it a soft matte or a natural matte, satin matte. It doesn't look flat on the skin by any means. If you have really oily skin, you might want to powder it, but it dries to like such a beautiful finish. I just kind of do a light powder and I've got a new favorite powder actually that I want to talk to you about momentarily. Perhaps get a sample at Sephora to make sure that you like it. You can always return it if you don't as well, but it's really good. Then I have another drugstore mascara that I've really been enjoying. Uh, Shoppers Drug Mart sent this to me uh, because they were sending, I think, some new products and brands that they have at Shoppers. Now, Makeup Revolution has been there for a little while, um, but if you've yet to try the line, uh, I have tried different products here and there and really kind of enjoyed everything, but this mascara has, I think, been one of my favorite products that I've tried from Makeup Revolution that I find myself reaching for over and over again. Uh, and this is the Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara. I used this in a recent Get Ready With Me, so I'll let you see it in action. I'm wearing the NARS Orgasm Extreme or something. Extreme Orgasm, something very sexual mascara today. <laughs> this one, less sexual, but still very effective mascara. A nice sort of traditional bristle brush uh, with really short bristles, but you get really do get tons of volume, tons of length. I don't have issues with transferring or smudging. I say this every time, um, but I don't really have that issue with any mascaras in general besides Too Faced Better Than Sex, speaking of sexual mascaras. So other than that, mascaras don't really smudge on me. Uh, I also picked up from Makeup by Mario, this has been the powder I've been using all month, uh, the Soft, so Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. Now this is in the shade Medium. When this line came out and everyone was like, this is what Kim Kardashian's using on her face, well, it, I don't care. Okay, I don't care. Um, <laughs> but I did want to try it just as a beauty lover. And the cream product I picked up, I believe in the shade Medium or Medium Dark, it was too light for me. And then the next shade up looked really, really deep. So I ended up just kind of returning that, but I have been using this powder nonstop. Now, I believe the idea of this powder is that it's, I think you can use it a multitude of ways, but I believe what people were kind of doing was using like a brush and almost to highlight and bronze at the same time. I, to me, that's impossible. And I don't like those types of duo products where it's like, just draw it on your face. Remember Maybelline had that weird stick a while ago that was like light on top, dark on the bottom, but like came to a point and nobody who'd ever contoured had been responsible for creating that product. Do you remember that? Um, but either way, I really like this product just swirling my brush in there. It's almost like half bronzery powder slash half highlight, but it doesn't make my face look... Um, 
like I would never walk around I, I believe anyways maybe I have in the past with like a super shiny sparkly face all over and it doesn't do that for me it's just it really does make my skin look beautiful uh, and I don't find it to be uh, as shiny and because I know NYX came out with a powder when they came out with their high glass highlighter that was beautiful the highlighter was but the powder was like putting a huge highlighter on your face and just highlighted all the texture and things like that and I've had acne issues and whatnot throughout the month and I have still really enjoyed this right now my skin is more cleared up and I just dermaplane so I'm feeling my absolute best right now uh, but even when my skin was you know kind of breaking out earlier this month I still really enjoyed like uh, using it some really exciting news for Canadians Drunk Elephant Baby Facial is now available in Canada, legally! We no longer have to smuggle it across the border. Uh, the reason it wasn't allowed was because Health Canada's rules about glycolic acid, I believe, or AHAs. This has 25% AHA, 2% BHA, and it is a kind of a, a facial or a, like a weekly treatment. And you know, okay? There's many lines that I harp on and repeat over and over on this channel, but I love an AHA BHA blend is absolutely one of them. And this was my first AHA BHA blend, the ultimate AHA BHA blend, baby! Uh, and the formulation has not changed to enter Canada. I asked at the event, I went to a launch party for it last week, I was like, is it the same? They were like, yes. So I guess I had to sweet talk somebody at Health Canada, give them a couple of smooches. I don't know what they did, but either way, it's here now. So exciting. I recommend this more or less to any skin type. If you have incredibly sensitive skin, perhaps stay away. But if you're looking for things like uh, making your skin more glowy, more smooth, even tone, less breakouts, clearing pores, it does a little bit of everything because the AHAs is going to focus on the surface level of your skin. And this is a strong percentage of AHAs at 25%. BHAs are going to go a little bit deeper into the skin at 2%, which is somewhere uh, same as like say the Polish Choice BHA. What's also really nice about this is it has chickpea flour and other ingredients in here that are going to be soothing on the skin. This is actually, I used it right after the event and my first time wearing it in a long time. I think I only kept it on for 10 minutes. You can leave on for up to 20. I left it on only for 10. My skin looks so much better. It's beautiful. And I mixed it in with the oil when I wore it on my face as the treatment. So definitely highly recommend that. And I also wanted to point out that I've been absolutely loving this eye cream. I always love to point out eye cream specifically because there's a lot of good eye creams out there. There's not a lot of great eye creams in my opinion. They're just kind of like, yeah, you moisturize my under eyes, whatever, you know, you did okay. But this one, it feels so hydrating. It feels so lush on the skin. It is the Drunk Elephant Ceramide AF Eye Balm. I love ceramides on my skin. I think it has just this really beautiful, it doesn't have like a balmy feeling in terms of the texture, but the way it leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and sort of more plumped is almost as if I've put a balmy texture on my skin, but it still works well. Under makeup, I tend to use this a little bit more at night because it is a little bit heavier, but I think it's so nice. My only complaint about Drunk Elephant Eye Creams is just the size. You know, I only have so much space on my vanity and I, I get that it's a little bit more, I guess, airtight and, and whatnot and they have like the functionality of the products for this reason, but it is just a little bulky, but I love you. I have also mentioned many times that I love just a traditional eye makeup remover. I will use an eye makeup remover to remove my mascara, then I'll move on to like a cleansing balm for my face and then I'll move into a cleanser. That's just my preferred method when I've got a full face of makeup on. So I love eye makeup removers and I'm always trying different ones and this is a really popular one that I've never tried and it's so good. It's the Lancome by Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. You know, it reminds me of the Marcel of the L'Oreal or perhaps the L'Oreal Marcel might remind you of Lancome. Maybe Lancome came first perhaps, but it's phenomenal. If you have sensitive eyes, if you find yourself kind of rubbing at your eyes or anything like that with mascara when you're using an eye balm, I really recommend getting an eye makeup remover. They, I don't, wouldn't they say it's a lost art, but I definitely see less people talking about them and this is a phenomenal one. Then when it comes to moisturizing my skin, I think this is a very, very cool moisturizer that just launched. It's from Aven. It's the Tolerance um, Hydra 10. It comes in two different versions. I've tried both, one during the day, one at night. This is their hydrating fluid. And what's really interesting about this product is that it is created in an environment that is completely sterile. So in the same kind of facility that they would uh, produce a pharmaceutical. It's also one of the, or if not the only airtight, completely airtight product of cosmetic grade, I think. I'm not getting the facts completely right here, but it's very, very impressive to this. Like, you know, I mentioned the drunk elephant being airtight. This is like nothing comes back in. 
right? So this can be used, they mentioned, on babies at two months old, cancer patients, et cetera, et cetera. And it is on top of that, just a great hydrating product. So if it can be used on people who have those types of skin conditions or any type of concerns, it can definitely be used on sort of more regular uh, sensitive skin or just skin in general. So I think that this is a really nice one. They have the hydrating cream for dry to very dry sensitive skin uh, and then the hydrating fluid for normal to combination sensitive skin. And this is a little bit more of a gel cream texture. This is a little heavier. Neither of them are particularly heavy. They both have hyaluronic acid in there. Really nice hydrating ingredients and just a really great uh, sort of for the whole family type of moisturizer. Uh, and then I also have been using, this is a brand that's newer to me, but I've continued to hear good things and they just sent me this and I really love it. I know I'm wearing a bun right now um, and I do wear a lot of buns just because I'm still not feeling fully confident with my shorter curls. But this is the uh, Lust brand Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel. It has acai, aloe vera, passion fruit oil, um, rice bran oil in here, and it has medium hold. I think this is such a phenomenal gel. Really have been enjoying this uh, collection. I know it's like, kind of harder to get your hands on and I think harder to get in Canada, but I believe they're trying to make it more available. It's also free of silicone, sulfates, um, dyes, mineral oil, gluten, um, and not tested on animals and made in Canada. I think that's what someone had messaged me on Instagram. They were like, it's annoying that it's a Canadian brand and kind of hard to get in Canada, I think, but we're a tricky country sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, we want smooth skin and great curls too, damn it, Health Canada. But anyways, that is everything that I love this month. Be sure to let me know down below what you are loving this month. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.